Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Look at those beautiful rocks. What do you say we examine them together? I love how some are all one color, while others are a mix of many different colors. Some are smooth and shiny, while others are very rough and dull. Some people think that all rocks are the same, uh, but that's just not true. There are so many different kinds of rocks right in your own backyard. Uh, but what are rocks and where do they come from? How can we tell the difference between one type of rock and another? Thankfully, I'm a future geologist, a scientist who studies rocks, land, and the earth, and I can answer all these questions. As a geologist, my mission is to study the Earth's surface and what it's made of. Now, this is an important job because it helps us to find amazing materials in the Earth and to use them in our everyday life. The Earth's crust is made up of rocks and minerals. Uh, the crust of the Earth is what we walk on and what buildings are built on. The layer just below the crust, the mantle, is also made up of rocks and minerals. With the first two layers of our Earth made up of rock, it's no wonder why we see them everywhere. Rocks are solids made up of a bunch of different minerals. Those minerals can include quartz, mica, and feldspar. Some rocks are made up of just one mineral, like shiny silver. Uh, let's take a look at this piece of granite. Granite is a fascinating rock to observe. It's one of the most common rocks on Earth's crust. Granite is made up of many different minerals just like quartz, feldspar, mica, and others. And you can even see the different minerals pushed together in the rock if you look closely. But how do we observe rocks? Well, geologists use their eyes and hands as well as other tools to make observations about things. Uh, let's try it together. What do you observe in this piece of quartz? Can we describe the color? That's right. It's a light, milky white color. And what about the texture of this mineral? Right again, it looks smooth in some areas with sharp edges. And how about this silver here? What do you observe? What color is it? Great. It's very silvery. And the texture? Yep, you guessed it. It's bumpy and rough with no smooth areas. Color and texture are two of the main attributes that geologists use to describe rocks. The third way geologists describe rocks is hardness. Scientists check for hardness by scratching one mineral on another surface, like another rock or even glass. If the rock leaves a scratch, that means it's harder than the other surface. Scientists use a scale to rate the hardness of rocks and minerals called the Mohs Hardness Scale. If, for example, diamonds are the hardest natural material on the Earth. Whoa! That's why they're at the top of the hardness scale. Soapstone, on the other hand, is a very soft rock that you can scratch with just your fingernail. By observing the different properties like color, texture, and hardness, geologists categorize rocks and minerals into groups. And this helps other people to identify them later. Rocks and minerals are part of everyday life. Take this coffee mug, for example. This is made of porcelain which is made of a mineral called clay mudstone. Other things like bathtubs, toilets, and sinks are also made of porcelain. And the buildings and houses that make up towns and cities contain steel, which is a mineral. Other metals like gold, silver, and copper are used in a lot of the electronics that we use. Metals like these are good conductors, which means that electricity can move through them easily. This makes metals perfect for things like televisions and radios. Limestone, sand, and gravel are used to make the concrete that creates the sidewalks that we walk on. Did you know that even the pencil you write your name with contains a mineral? Yeah, that's right. Graphite is the dark piece in the center of our pencils that allows us to leave our mark on papers. 
So as you can see, rocks and minerals are everywhere we turn. And they truly rock our world. Rocks are anything but boring. Through geology, we're able to closely study the Earth's surface to observe and examine rocks and minerals found in the Earth's crust and mantle. We observe things like the color, texture, and hardness of rocks and minerals. And we even have a scale to determine the hardness of different rocks. We can sometimes forget that rocks and minerals are actually all around us. The buildings that we're in right now are made of rocks and minerals. The phones we use and televisions we watch all use metals to work. Rocks and minerals sure are mighty useful. So next time you're outside, take a look and see what rocks are around you. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep on rocking until then.